The conquest of space is a fascinating thing. Many scientists and space travelers have been busy for decades exploring what the world beyond Earth looks like, whether life on other planets is possible. Many space programs have brought new insights, but so much is yet unexplained. In this video, we present to you the 10 most expensive NASA programs so far. Galileo, estimated cost $1.6 billion. This NASA program was named after the famous Italian scientist Galileo Galilei. The Galileo space probe was launched into space on October 18, 1989, beginning its journey to the largest planet in our solar system. The probe was to study Jupiter and its moons. In December 1995, the time had come. Galileo was the first space probe to orbit Jupiter. Galileo gathered information not only about Jupiter itself. The space probe also gathered important knowledge about its moons. One of them, the moon Europa, has a water ocean located underneath a crust of ice. The discovery of water led to the speculation as to whether there might be traces of life in it. After eight years in orbit, the Galileo program was terminated by launching the spacecraft into Jupiter's atmosphere. This avoided contaminating other moons of Jupiter with microbes that the probe might have brought back from Earth. Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer Estimated Cost $2 Billion the highly complex AMS-02 was flown to the International Space Station ISS by Space Shuttle Endeavour in 2011. Nobel laureate and particle physicist Samuel Ting developed the AMS-02. It's the most advanced particle detector ever constructed. Built to detect antimatter and find data, the AMS-02 was designed to solve the mystery of dark matter. Data from over 175 billion cosmic rays was collected by the AMS-02 during one lifetime. The spectrometer was in operation longer than originally planned. Initially, three years were envisioned. Thus, the AMS-02 has contributed much to a better understanding of our world. Hubble Space Telescope Estimated Cost $2.5 Billion the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope was rather rocky. Named after one of the most famous astronomers of the 20th century, Edwin Hubble, the telescope was launched into orbit with a flaw, and so the images it captured were somewhat lacking in quality. This error was tiny. It was less than 1 50th the width of a human hair. But for such sensitive technology, the error was massive. NASA had no choice but to fly astronauts into space to fix this flaw. Over the next two decades, the telescope gave us the most incredible photos ever taken of our universe. For more than 30 years, Hubble studied the cosmos, and it did so 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Curiosity, estimated cost $2.5 billion. The Curiosity Mars probe is undoubtedly the most advanced probe ever sent to Mars. The probe is studying Mars 24-7, and it's incredible to witness and see the images. Originally, Curiosity was supposed to collect data on the climate of Mars and find out more about the geology of our neighboring planet. So the Mars probe was meant to answer one of the most important questions for scientists on Earth. Is human life possible on Mars? And if not, was it ever possible? To date, the question has not been definitively answered, and at present, human life on Mars does not appear to be possible or not yet possible. There are different views on whether it ever was. Cassini-Huygens Mission Estimated Cost $3.26 Billion this mission was launched by NASA in 1997. The goal was to explore Saturn. The spacecraft is named after two astronomers, the Italian Giovanni Cassini and the Dutch Christian Huygens. The journey of the Cassini probe lasted seven years. Then it could be shot into the orbit of Saturn. There, it collected information about the large gas planet, its atmosphere, rings, and satellites. In the process, the Huygens probe detached from its carrier, Cassini, on Christmas Day 2004 and landed as desired on one of Saturn's moons, Titan. This landing was the very first in the outer solar system and the first successful landing on a moon other than the Earth's moon. The mission ended after 20 years when Cassini ran out of fuel in space. 
Its final mission was to protect moons of Saturn that may be favorable for life. Then, on September 15, 2017, the probe's fate was sealed. Cassini plunged into Saturn's atmosphere between Saturn and one of its icy rings. It continued to send research data until the very end. The GPS system, estimated cost $12 billion. Today, the GPS system is indispensable. Developed by the U.S. Department of Defense in the 1970s, the Global Positioning System is operated by the U.S. Air Force. It's a space-based radio navigation system that can identify any three-dimensional location on Earth 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Accuracy is within a few meters of deviation with a temporal reliability of 10 nanoseconds. There are three segments to the GPS system, the control segment, the space segment, and the user segment. The GPS system has its origin in the Sputnik age. At that time, it was discovered how to track satellites with the help of shifts in their radio signal, the Doppler effect. Today, the space segment of the GPS system includes more than 30 satellites, all equipped with a redundant atomic clock and a ground control network. The latter control the whole system around the clock. SLS and Orion, estimated cost $23 billion. The U.S. Space Agency NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, is a mega heavy lift propulsion system designed to enable manned space exploration beyond our own solar system. To date, SLS is the only rocket with the capabilities to fly the Orion spacecraft with astronauts and cargo to the moon in a single mission. This flight is planned for early 2022. The mission will be named Artemis 1, and it will be the first combined flight of SLS and Orion. It is planned that the Orion spacecraft will be sent 60,000 miles further than the moon is from Earth, 280,000 miles. During this process, system performance of all modules will be monitored by experts and adjusted if necessary before astronauts are then sent into space for a flight to lunar orbit in an Artemis II mission. After that, the Artemis III mission is to be launched, with astronauts landing on the moon starting in 2024. Apollo Space Program Estimated cost $110 billion the Apollo program began in the 1960s and is a milestone in human spaceflight. The Apollo capsule was specifically designed by NASA to hold up to three astronauts. The astronauts flew to the moon and back in the command module. The Apollo capsule was much larger than its predecessors. In contrast to the Mercury and Gemini capsules, the astronauts had more freedom of movement since the Apollo capsule was about the size of a car. With the lunar module, the astronauts landed on the moon and flew back into orbit from there. It could carry only two Two astronauts. In July 1969, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong landed on the lunar surface with this shuttle. This kept them within the time frame set by then U.S. President John F. Kennedy to fly to the moon by the end of the decade and also land safely back on Earth. A total of 24 astronauts were flown to the moon in Apollo missions. They are the most ambitious expeditions into space ever undertaken. ISS estimated cost $150 billion. The International Space Station, ISS, is a prime example of how countries so different in many ways can work together. It's also an engineering marvel, being the largest man-made object that can be seen in space from Earth. If weather conditions are perfect, it can even be seen with the naked eye. Countless scientific experiments are carried out on the ISS. In addition, research is being conducted into how a longer stay in space affects humans. In November 1998, the Russians launched the first component of the space station, the Russian control module Zarva, into orbit. It was launched by a Russian rocket. Two weeks later, NASA's Space Shuttle Endeavour launched and made contact with Zarva by connecting the Russian module to the US Unity node. Other parts of the ISS were launched over the next two years and connected to the pre-existing modules to make the space station habitable for astronauts. Finally, on November 2nd, 2000, the first crew set out to spend extensive extended periods of time in the ISS. Space Shuttle Program Estimated Cost $209 Billion 
the great innovation of the Space Shuttle program, which had its beginnings in the 1970s, was that the orbital space shuttle could be reused for the first time. Previously, all rockets could only be used one time and had to be disposed of after their launch. The Space Shuttle had an external tank, two external rockets, or boosters, and the famous orbiter vehicle. During the project period of the Space Shuttle program, five orbiters were produced, Atlantis, Endeavour, Discovery, Challenger, and Columbia. The last two were destroyed during operations. Each of the 135 launches cost NASA more than $1.5 billion. The last launch took place in July 2011. After that, the Space Shuttle program was replaced by the SLS, also known as the Space Launch System. That was our list of the most expensive NASA programs of all time. How about you? Are you interested in space travel? Would you like to travel into the furthest expanses of the universe? Tell us more in the comments.